I've always said that Martin Scorsese is really a cinematic genius, and that is truly the case. His body of work speaks for itself, and each time he comes out with something new, whether it's a documentary or whether it's a new film, I'm drawn to it. And, and, and something about his films inspire me. Well, his newest film, he's doing something he's never done before. He's doing 3D, and he's also doing a family film. The new film is called Hugo, and, and let me say this right off the bat. Hugo is a visual feast, and it's just in time for Thanksgiving. This film, it's a magnificent homage to the art and science of filmmaking and making movies. Uh, best 3D film I've seen since Avatar. Now, one thing to know about this, it looks like it's a family film, but honestly, it's really much more of an adult film disguised as a kid's film or family film. And by that, I mean the pacing of the storyline has a very methodical approach that really only appeals to adults. Well, it would appeal to adults much more than it would to kids. So I'd call it a family drama. Uh, it's the story of, of, of love and loss and the mending of broken dreams and hearts. Uh, Scorsese is a brilliant filmmaker, and he proves this, and his command of the art spans genres. In this film, the acting, the music, the set design, the costumes, the effects, all of these things will transport viewers into a foreign land filled with unique characters and mysterious secrets. When one secret is revealed, it seems like another is soon to follow. Now, initially, you might think this film is about a kid that's an orphan uh, living in a train station in, in Paris, France um, after World War I. But what you soon discover is it's really not a, a story about a kid that's an orphan. It's actually more of a story about a man, uh, and a much older man, who thinks that time has passed him by. So look for a lot of symbolism in this film as it deals with time. And uh, the visuals in this 3D, I've got to say, completely stunning. This movie gets a solid A on the Noel T. Manning II report card. For box office briefs, this is Noel T. Manning II for WGWG 88.3 FM, online WGWG.org, and also the Shelby Star.com.